We're going to continue the conversation on Caterpillar because we are joined right now over the phone by Ann Dignan of J.P. Morgan. Bloomberg crunched the numbers. Ann is the most accurate analyst on Caterpillar. It makes her a Bloomberg best. We're very glad to have her with us this morning. So, Ann, this is a blowout quarter for Caterpillar, but you and I were speaking earlier and you said, as usual, it's not so much about the quarter that's passed. It's about what's coming for Caterpillar, and it seems like they see sales for next year near $50 billion. I know the Wall Street estimate was around $47 billion, so it just shows that the parts of the world that we've been talking about are growing. Caterpillar sees that as well, right? Yeah, totally. Um, we were just talking earlier about, uh, I was down in Brazil about three weeks ago, and demand for equipment, particularly Caterpillar's equipment, is up 75% year over year in the region. Uh, both on the back of uh, investment in infrastructure in Brazil, but also on the back of strong demand for hard commodities from places like China. So this was a really important quarter for Caterpillar. It's a new CEO. Uh, they have a goal that they've reiterated time and time again of achieving 55 to $60 billion in revenue by 2012 and 8 to $10 of earnings by then. And frankly, we're the only ones on the street that actually believe them. I was just going to say that because, I mean, maybe by some people's estimates, Caterpillar could be conservative, but you just alluded to the fact that you think uh, most people don't believe they can see growth at those levels. But when we talk about macro reasons, it seems like it's not that hard to imagine. I mean, China has a population boom, as does India. These people need to eat, of course, and Caterpillar makes the equipment to help get the food. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it's the hard commodities also that uh, China is consuming, and that's a big part of Caterpillar's growth. I think also that people sometimes forget how hard we fell in places like North America and Western Europe. Demand in uh, North America is down, you know, 50, 55 percent from peak. So, you know, we will start to see a recovery in U.S. construction at some point through the cycle. At some point through the cycle. Now, I do see as far as develop economies, this is the number that they are publishing. They're saying uh, 2011 growth that we should see around 6.5%. So do you assume that within that they are talking in part about construction or do you see it mostly as the agricultural business? Uh, mostly as mining for hard commodities um, and then, you know, some incremental upside from construction. Uh, they did note in their press release that dealers have not really started to restock equipment. And so if we see any signs of life in either residential or non-residential construction in the U.S., uh, we could see a significant upside to even Caterpillar's outlook at this point because it's been five years since we saw the peak of the cycle in the U.S. And the stock trades around $80. It closed yesterday at 80.32. Its current P.E. is around 25. Uh, where is the right valuation? Is it now or is there a little bit more room to grow? Well, our hypothesis has always been, you know, if they can get to $8 to $10 by 2012, and that's something like mid-cycle, not the peak of the cycle, uh, we would expect something close to a 12 times multiple on that number. Uh, which would suggest that Caterpillar ought to be a $100 stock, not an $80 stock. So we think there's plenty of upside from here. Uh, and I think after today's numbers, we'll see a lot of upward earnings revisions for 2011 and probably for 2012 also. Uh, and as you mentioned, you're one of the few buys out there. There are 11 buys, 13 holds and one sell. So it seems like most people are waiting at least for the North American economy to improve before recommending the stock. What do you make of the new leadership? I know it's uh, early days to judge, but what are we going to see in the next year to three years from this new position? I think one of the things that uh, the new CEO has clearly done already is he has realigned the organization and created more accountability. Uh, last cycle, Caterpillar did have some hiccups when it came to actually executing and delivering products. Uh, and this time around, what he has done is realigned the organization, created uh, a lot more accountability within the organization. And I think that that's going to have a big impact as we go through this cycle. And thanks so much for the time. And Dagnan joining us there from J.P. Morgan. She is a Bloomberg best, the most accurate forecaster on Caterpillar.